what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nika today we're going to be working with alcohol inks but first let's enjoy the intro So this is a list of things you're going to need. I am using a cradled wood board that I created myself and I will be showing you guys how to make those in the next video coming on Tuesday. But you're going to need something like UFO paper, I think that's how you pronounce it, to use alcohol inks or a cradled wood panel. I've seen some people use um, canvases, but this is just what I am preferring to use now. All right, so you're jumping right into it. I'm gonna be using alcohol inks. I will link all of my products in the description box below. The colors I'm gonna be using is Sapphire, um, Navy Blue, and Peacock Blue. Now it's easier if you're using a big surface. Remember, I made a two by four foot wood panel. So I'm using a very big surface. If you want to spread the alcohol ink further, it's easier to put it like in a cup and then put the alcohol in the cup. Now, of course, when you're using alcohol inks, the more alcohol, the more diluted the color will look. The less alcohol, the less diluted the color will look. So you see, I'm using 99% alcohol. This came from a hardware store. Because of COVID, there has been a shortage of anything over than 70% alcohol, and you can use 70%, but it just doesn't work as well. I'm going to be using 99%. So I'm going in with Sapphire first, and I'm just gonna take my blow dryer on high heat, and I'm just going to move the alcohol ink around. Alcohol dries very fast, so this is a project that you can finish and it'll be dry. It's not like the acrylic paints at all. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of peacock blue and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push that around. So the cool thing about alcohol inks is if you don't like it or you want to do a little bit more to your design you can always add alcohol on top of the alcohol ink that has dried and it'll reactivate the alcohol ink so that's what I'm doing here I wanted to push it around just a little bit more and the way that you create the marble look is layering the alcohol inks because some of it is gonna dry faster, some of it is gonna dry with a little bit more alcohol ink on top of itself, and that's what creates the depth in the marble or stained glass look. So I'm just going through and I'm adding alcohol, and I am just reactivating to push around the alcohol ink.
so here my peak blow dryer finally went out so I had to go and get my backup blow dryer I do not like this blow dryer as the nozzle is too wide and it pushes my paint too far so I don't use this very often don't worry I did go ahead and reorder me another pink Revlon blow dryer now as you see I'm gonna go around on some of the edges with the navy blue and you see that for this one I put a little more ink to alcohol so the higher your ink to alcohol ratio, the deeper your shades will be. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> and the more alcohol you use, the more translucent your colors will look. Anaya. Sorry you guys, that's my little sister in the background. She's here while I'm working and she's playing with kinetic sand and magnets and getting kinetic sand everywhere in my house don't look at me like that so the more you layer your alcohol inks the more stained glass and marbly it'll look but the way that you get that depth like that deeper marble that I'm pretty sure you want like how I got it on the outsides is like I said the less alcohol you add to it the deeper or more intense the alcohol ink will look so that's just what I was doing here I was going around and I was adding layers and intensity because I did want it to look like some deep cracked marble and to create the cracked marble I'm gonna go in with the ink like in certain areas just right on top of where I want it to be and I'm just gonna add a little bit of alcohol there so that I can create that deeper cracked looking marble so for this because I needed to be a little bit more precise I switched to my heat gun and that is how I'm gonna be getting the more cracked looking marble To create the gold lines, I'm going to be using a acrylic paint pen and I'm going to be holding it with a little less control so more towards the end of the pen instead of towards the tip because I want it to look jagged. I don't want it to look so, I want it to look organic. I don't want it to look so like perfected if that makes sense because when marble cracks or when there are cracks in marble it doesn't look perfect so as you can see I'm kind of holding my pen with a little less control because I want it to look organic So now I'm going to be going in with some resin to top my alcohol inks. You want to make sure you set your alcohol ink before you put resin on top of it just in case the resin is it's a chemical it could fade the alcohol ink. And I use Krylon's matte finish I will put that in the description box as well. So you want to set it and then you want to put your resin on top and that's only if you're using resin of course I wanted to use resin this is a piece that I'm putting on sale for my website and I want this to be long and durable now remember this is a two foot by four foot I used about four cups of resin and then I'm just gonna tilt it down look at this beautiful oh my gosh the way it intensified when I put the resin on it it just it was ah oh, I love it
now I'm just gonna go in with my heat gun and this is just gonna pop any bubbles it's gonna move the resin around so that there are any things any areas that are just a little bit uneven this is just going to make it even for me so popping the bubbles and all that stuff is what I'm doing with my heat gun And now I'm just gonna take you guys down so that you can see it I love how this looks it is beautiful here is a picture of it up in my home I hang up all my pictures before I send them out to my clients when people purchase them but I love how this turned out I let me know if you guys try this I love it it's so beautiful as always I appreciate you for being here and I will see you next time